crops. But all of our main diseases, heart diseases, heart attacks and strokes, most of the cancers, prostate cancer, colon cancer, breast cancer, pancreatic cancer, ovarian cancer, kidney disease, diabetes, osteoporosis, high blood pressure, obesity, asthma, four main factors that cause them. Now I know about other factors. I'm not saying that you can't get sick elsewhere. Of course you can. Smoking, drinking, stress, <coughs> chemicals in the environment, high fructose corn syrup, Twinkies, I know about the other things that can lead to an ailment, but the four main factors are found inside of meat, cheese, milk, and eggs. Cholesterol, saturated fat, trans fatty acids, animal protein. And I repeat that last one that nobody wants to hear about, animal protein. But when you go vegan, did you know that you eliminate cholesterol entirely from your diet? You can only get cholesterol from meat, cheese, milk, and eggs. And your body makes cholesterol on its own. That's the only such thing as good cholesterol. If you bring it in from an outside source, it's automatically bad cholesterol. You can take out around 95% of saturated fat when you go vegan, and you can take out all the naturally occurring trans fatty acids too. Keep this in mind, between 2 to 9% of all meat and all dairy naturally comprised of trans fatty acids. And you can obviously take out all of animal protein. Now animal protein is way too acidic for the human body. We don't process it properly. It is the main reason why one in three meat eaters continually get cancer. And it's one of the main causes of osteoporosis. Were you aware that when animal protein enters the human body, it makes our blood acidic instantaneously? But our blood can't stay acidic for long or else we die. So our body has to figure out instantly how to neutralize the acidity. I have some good news and some bad news. Let's start with the good. Our bodies have figured out how to neutralize the acidity. Bad news. There's only one way to make it happen at this point. With phosphate. There's only one source of phosphate in the human body. Bones, just so you know. Our bones are comprised of two things, calcium phosphate, and they're binded together. So our body leaches calcium phosphate out of the bones, takes the phosphate to neutralize the acidity, and then we pee out the calcium. This is why every single epidemiological study, those are the ones done on human populations, every single one shows that societies that consume the most amount of animal protein have the worst rates of osteoporosis, bone fractures, and cancers while societies that consume little to no animal protein, the vegan and vegetarian ones, Hindus, Buddhists, Jains, Rastafarians, Seventh-day Adventists, have little to no rates of osteoporosis, bone fractures, and cancers. And so we don't get into a debate during Q&A about different medical studies that are out there. A lot of times when people...